Hey guys, welcome to my channel, and it's Megan in the World of the Night. And the book that we are using is The Purpose of Life Devotion for Kids by Rick Warren and includes 305 devotions. We're on day 290, I think it's 97. 98. Wow, tomorrow's the last day in the 200s, and then it's 65 days left. The title is, Is Your Head Bigger Than Your Heart? And the scripture is 1 Samuel 13, verse 13. First, let's just pray. Let's pray for God, best person watching, please bless me, best one listen, be yours, not mine, in Jesus' name, amen. 1 Samuel 13, verse 13. You have done a foolish thing, Samuel said. You have not kept the command the Lord your God gave you. If you had, he would have established your kingdom over Israel for all time. That was the devotion. So was tired of waiting. Samuel was supposed to come and take care of the offering, but he hadn't shown up. People were starting to leave, so Saul decided to take charge. What's the big deal? He probably thought. Saul figured he could take care of the offering just as well as Samuel could. He gathered everything together and took care of the business. Then Samuel walked up. What have you done? Samuel asked. Saul was guilty. He had been way too impatient and taken over Samuel's God-given job like it was no big deal. God had given Saul success in some areas, so Saul thought he could do whatever he wanted. He thought too much of himself. The same thing can happen to us. Maybe God gives us success in sports, so we start acting like a know-it-all in all in the locker room. Or he gives us a change, chance to be a leader in the, in the classroom, and we start acting like king of the world. It's easy to let stuff go to our head when God opens a door like that. To keep from to keep from getting puffed up like Saul, we need to remember where all our success comes from and keep our eyes on the Lord. That's so good. Because like I could be like an editor and I could like become so good at editing and then I could like act like this noodle but there's still some stuff I don't know and people are like, Why wow, you're being really rude about your talent? whatever like you're interested in i'm not saying you're big-headed but like don't become big-headed like so now this is the press so if you want to i'm not forcing you but if you want to you can put your hands together by your head and close your eyes with me god thank you for giving us skills and strengths help us to remember when they come where where they come from and not to let success go to our head in jesus name and help us amen I love you guys so much. I hope that bless you. It's still bless me. I love you guys so much. Be blessed.